Uh, well, I, I think it will be rather complicated to uh, to mention the mention dates and uh, and and the explanation in, in each single event. But uh, the case is that uh, Anti-Doping Denmark they receive information from the UCI database. So if that database is not updated. Uh, there's a chance that the the two agencies will show up at the same time, and that's why uh, the the warnings they accumulate quite fast. But I, I heard that uh, the UCI say you have missed two of their dates, and that the the Danish anti-doping agency also claim that you've missed two of theirs. Well, I have a written warning from last year in March, uh, because I pure and simply forgot to send in my second quarter information. Uh, and I received the warning, uh, the warning for for that ev even before the the period ran out, which is quite bizarre. Uh, and I received another warning at the end of uh, June. But with cycling the way it is, it's very important that these details are exact. Otherwise, these grey areas become very very serious. Yeah, and I, I admit I made a mistake, and uh, I received a warning for that. Those are the rules, and I accept that warning. Uh, there's an allegation from a writer in the United States named Whitney Richards. I wanted to know if you know this name, and um, to respond to this allegation, he was asked by you to bring a box to, to Italy from the United States, uh, that he was told to recycling the shoes and uh, opened the box and found uh, some kind of bovine hemoglobin. Um, do you know this name, and have you heard this story? No, I cannot confirm any of that. I know his name, yeah. This week you said that they used television that there was one warning for you from uh, the doping uh, agencies because you had a no show or you didn't tell them your relevance. Later you said there were two uh, warnings, one from last year and one from this year. And today in the Danish television, the director of the Danish Cycling Union has told us that there is uh, actually four warnings, two from the Danish Anti-Doping Agency and two from UCI. Could you explain a little more about the warnings? Yes, I, uh, I have one from last year, in uh, the month of uh, March, um, where I pure and simply forgot to uh, send in my second quarter information to the UCI and uh, they immediately issued a warning on the 24th of March that the, uh, even though the information they had on me, they ran until the 31st of uh, that same month. So, uh, uh, And then uh, I received another one in, I do not remember the exact date, I believe it was the 29th of uh, or 26, 26 to the 29th of June this year from the UCI and uh, I received one from the Danish uh, anti-doping agency as well because they get their information from the same database which is UCI so if the database is not updated correctly and that agency decides to show up at the same time <coughs> obviously the, well, then I, I might not be there